yes sir first of all i thank you for giving your precious time for this project thank you for inviting me yes my pleasure so first of all we are starting so explain about your vacant can to everyone who will see this okay. lecture yes sir yes well in uh, 2017 um we moved to a little town called li we are placed 130 kilometers south of chiang mai in thailand and there was in 2017 when we came there were only like longan trees and some banana plants and what we did we started planting different uh, plants and taking um rice straw in to cover the soil and growing different vegetables and slowly we like grow more and more food and now we can actually sustain all our if we really want we can like live of the garden right now yeah. and right right now it's the best thing that we can offer here right is that people can come and volunteer if they want and yeah that's the the concept here you can come in and volunteer and learn about the life as a vegan if you're non vegan or if you're already vegan you can like enjoy being able to eat all like plant foods here okay yes i have seen your project in your facebook profile okay so thus my my question is if someone wants to be vegan so what are the basic diet tips you have to give them if they are starting to be vegan some basic diet tips if they are starting to be vegan um the basics is um to get enough food to eat enough food because sometimes when you go from um meat based or dairy based diet to a vegan diet uh, the density of calories in the food is not so high because there is a lot of calories in a in a piece of meat or in an egg uh, or in a glass of milk there's so you need to substitute that with plant based foods and to do that um what i did myself is to um every time i'm hungry i would eat some fruit i would eat a banana in denmark when i started i was in denmark to be vegan then i we have available all year round bananas and dates that the two main fruits and from these fruits you can make smoothies so you add water and you blend them up and then you can have a lot of energy in because many people say that it's they are hungry when they start going vegan on plant based foods so that's one of the tips the other tip is to get enough carbohydrates in which are is like bananas and dates are a lot of ca carbohydrates but also starches would i would i recommend to to eat like in what is available good quality pasta organic and organic we have they have corn like maize and and that's some of these things that you can eat um um yeah and don't be afraid of a little bit of sugar or a little bit of salt that is it's okay if you if you mainly eat whole foods then it's okay to put a little bit of sugar or salt on top of your food if you need if you if you if you think your food is plain or doesn't taste good it's better to to enhance the flavor so you get enough calories in but mainly just eat whole foods plant based so it's better to eat an orange than or than drink orange juice stuff like that and i think you'll be healthy and also don't forget to eat your greens like a salad or here we started growing chaya which they grow in many places of of the world so this is like a substitute of like a spinach so it's also called mexican spinach 
So Chaya is a good um, place to get many different nutrients here in Thailand, for example, okay. if you don't have salad available. So what is the difference between a vegan diet and non-vegan diet? Is it non-vegan harmful very much? Because they need to know the great power of vegetarian diet. Um, yes. I mean, I, I read the, the China study first time in 2007. And then I started to study different articles and more books. And what I found was that there's a high probability that animal protein, proteins from animals coming from meat or from egg, they are harmful to, to human. There's a high probability that it's harmful. So I, at some point I found that it's more safe for me as a human to start eating plant-based compared to animal products. In the beginning, you're always afraid, if I take out eggs and dairy and meat, will my health be bad? That's what you normally do. You think, ah, if I don't eat meat, I will be unhealthy. But what I found when I, in my studies of these different articles and books is that there is, it's much safer to just eat plant-based foods because your whole system, your digestion, your skin, your, your whole organism just gets better. I mean, after like the first couple of weeks, you're, you can feel it. your digestion just goes through much easier. I mean, you need to be hydrated also. Like it's part of the, like it's, 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 um, it's not only food. It's, it's, it's a lifestyle, you know, you need to get enough sleep. You need to eat the right things. You need to get enough water. Um, yeah. So like if you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and not so many starches, you don't need to drink so much water. But if you eat a lot of starches and dried fruit, you need to drink more water. So it's like a, a whole thing. And, and if you just listen to your body, whenever you're thirsty, you should drink some water. Whenever you're hungry, you should eat something. And yes, I believe uh, like there's, uh, the last couple of years has just boomed with information about the harmful, um, harmful things that can happen to your body if you consume dairy products and animal proteins. So I'm, yeah. I think it's very bad for your health to be uh, like eat non-vegan food. I don't even know if it, you can call it food. Yes. Um, we, we, we can't. Yeah. It's yeah. Not but, but it's, the fear it's not, maybe it's not. Yes. It's the fears of living. Being. We kill the mm. and then eat it. And according to the yeah. research, the person who eat non-veg is more harmful from, for the health and he live in more anger and his life is not perfect that's why everyone have to be vegan mm -hmm. yeah. okay I, I think i think it's i think it's a good thing that that everybody like um it would be nice if everybody would be vegan but it's uh, i don't know mm, the path apparently to get there is is hard there are like three ways to convince people or just to say, okay, maybe this is a good idea. Like one, what I like, what, what, why I became vegan is because of health. So I, I believe in that you need to help yourself before you can help others. So if you can start with your own health, that's, that's a good thing when you start eating plants. And when you do that, you also help the animals because they don't need to suffer in the animal, uh, like, slaughterhouses and animal factories where you need to produce like um, domesticated animals. It's not a good thing. And because you need to keep animals in cages and stuff like that. So that's not good. And also the, the environment, like the whole planet just suffers so much because there are so many different things you need to do to be able to eat animal products. You can just see um, how much food you need to feed to the animal before it becomes meat so you can eat the meat. That's not a good process. It's just 
doesn't make sense in uh, an environmental um, st like in it, yeah, for the environment so also like fishing like all the fishing nets that are in the ocean like I don't know if this is true but the the people that are like doing the statistics in on plastic in the oceans they I saw a number at one time don't quote me on it but it was like 60% of the plastic in the oceans are in um, are coming from fishing nets yes so right. just imagine that we we we, we stop f fishing yes. we will already be be uh, like reduce so much plastic in the ocean yes according to the research 75 percent of sea is covered by plastic there's a loss of okay yes yeah and if if 25 percent of the ocean is covered by plastic then 60 percent of that is uh, from fishing nets yes and so it's like 12.5% uh, covering the ocean is fishing net <laughs> or more like 13, 14%, sorry. And this pandemic situation of Corona also have come because of non veg diet from China. Uh, women eat a bat or snake. That's why this Corona. Well, what I don't know if that's true, but, but, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's a good point that there's a high probability that the many pandemics come from some kind of animal activity at, and humans, right? With, with humans, like humans eating animals that are infected with some kind of virus or something. It can, it's, it's not a good idea. It's, 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 we can avoid so many bad things uh, happening when, uh, when we stop eating animal products. So yes, I think it's of course I'm 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 vegan. I'm, I've been vegan for like since 2013. So I, I yeah, I, I believe it's a really good thing to start uh, thinking and <laughs> thinking about going vegan for like more people than than like the few vegans that are out there. Like I think there are like millions of vegans. I think like many in many countries where where people don't have a lot of money. Primarily, they live like vegans because it's the, it's cheaper. It's cheap to be vegan because all the starch foods like rice, it's the cheapest food you can get. So it's not expensive to be vegan. It's very affordable and it's healthy and it's, yeah. Yes. So according to you, what is the process that we can grow a vegan population more? People attract to the vegan and accept the vegan diets because in India also the non-vegetarian is growing very much. The cows, the birds, many animals were killed and this is a very sinful act. Mm -hmm. so. um, well, I think it's, um, it's difficult because it's like tradition. It's uh, like people say it's tradition. We have done it for many years and stuff like that. So it's, um, I, I think we need to point out the different angles. So like the three angles, like your health, the animals and the environment. So if we communicate these three things to, to people, we might, um, at some point, more people will understand that this is not a harmful way of living. Because I believe even some vegans, I've spoken to some vegans that think that they are harming their own body by not eating animal products. And that's very strange for me because there we have so much information that it's not harmful. It is very good for your health. So what we need, we just need to put out more and more information about these things. Because the more information we put out, the more healthy vegans that there are out there telling their stories about how good their life is, then that's that's a good thing. So so we just need to like soon it will be normal to be vegan. They're like many actors and more like public figures going vegan and talking about that this is important to do and that they are vegan so just tell everybody you're vegan that's that's the thing you we can do okay. i think that's great so can we see your garden 
that how you help uh, people i mean I, i i mean i mean the garden is i don't know if it's a little clear yes i mean i mean outside can you see this yes yes the garden or no? okay but that's just in front of the house so what kind and of crops you grow what kind of vegetables you grow i mean we 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 have like mango trees and longan trees banana plants we have like five or six different varieties of bananas growing like from the uh, simple like standard thai apple banana and cavendish and red cavendish and i think we have green cavendish and lady fingers and then a different type of thai banana that is more round and tastes more like a cavendish also and we grow mul mulberries what i can see from here mulberry mulberries we have and we have like passion fruits and giant passion fruit pineapples and the different like um that's a thai apple thing and asparagus behind that tree over there and different herbs and lemongrass and galanga and yeah different spices and stuff like chilies a lot of chilies so if someone so we grow grow if someone sorry have volunteered your camp so how can it process if someone want to have the volunteer in your vegan camp thailand yeah if they want to volunteer they need to contact us and then we will book a spot for them and the minimum is like one week that you spend here but it's it's uh like to get a good experience of how things going on is like a one month is a good thing and and then um yeah you 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 will we will do some activities for like three hours before noon and two hours in the afternoon and then um, uh, volunteers are responsible to cook their own food and uh, so like breakfast and and then we can just take from the garden and if there's not enough we have like other gardens nearby where we can go and buy organic uh, vegetables so that's the the way it works and there are different activi activities sometimes we need to like maintain some bamboo huts so we need to build something from bamboo otherwise we need to harvest bamboo or we need to do some gardening or prepare some soil or grow some microgreens like uh, sprouts of uh, sunflower sprouts it's also very good like microgreens is a very good thing also to start when you go vegan to to get if you don't have access to salad you can probably order your some sunflower seeds and then grow your own microgreens in your in your kitchen or so anywhere it's really very easy okay so first of all again i wish you a very best of luck for your vegan camp and i wish to the god that it's grow more and more and people join to the vegan okay thank you for having me thank you for the call yes so it was nice to speak speaking to you yes. and so the final message to the world that we have to be vegan and we have to create more vegan people and that's it we have this discussion also Okay good yes i agree so thank you very much yes thank you very much sir